Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to work on one of these engines. This is the only one that will spin. I don't want to do it too much. I mean I've got to take it apart anyway but I want to tear it down, assess it. I'd like to make one good engine out of all of these between swapping heads if they're bad, um, pretty much anything that I can use to make one. So I need to take parts off that engine right there. I'm pretty sure I cracked the block. So I need to use the oil cooler because none of these have the oil cooler. So let me get y'all set up and we will drain the oil if it has oil. I'm hoping it has something in it. Um, then after that, <clears throat> we'll start uh, tearing the heads down and get to the block. I am going to split the case today just to check it out, assess it. I don't think there is really any in play, but I can't get it to move that good. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get set up and tear into this. There we go. Sit this on down. Can y'all still see? Yes. Well, there is oil in it. And... Honestly doesn't look horrible. There's really no sludge on it, so I'm guessing the screen has caught it. So we're going to let this uh, drain out for a little while, and then we will come back when she is done. So while we're waiting for that to finish uh, doing its thing, <clears throat> I'd like to thank all of the new subscribers for uh, joining up. Um, we are at the 350 mark. I'm hoping by the six month point we can be to at least 500. Uh, we're well on that way. Uh, that would be a, a pretty big milestone uh, just starting off. Um, it's going pretty good. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Helps the channel out greatly. Does not cost you anything. Uh, make sure you like and comment. It helps the algorithm uh, and keeps my videos out there for more of you to find. Uh, for all the ones that have stuck around from the beginning, I, I thank you as well. Um, hopefully here soon, uh, we can hit that 500 goal and uh, keep go keep moving on. So I think that is just about done draining now. So what I'm going to do is lift it back up and then we will take the screen off and see what kind of sludge and junk is in that. All right, can you see? Hopefully I'm not in your way too bad. I know that I am. Oh, looks like no, no studs pulled, that's good. These are also the wrong thing to use. You wanna use a capped nut so that way if oil decides to slip past there, it gets hung in the cap and does not drain out. It's uh, quite a bit of corrosion. I guess that's corrosion. Might just be 
mud stuck in there, but I'm pretty sure it looks like case corrosion, so hopefully that is not too bad once we take this plate off and get the screen out. Alright. There we go. Yeah, we got some sludge. It's not horrible. So, interesting to see what the... Uh, it will be interesting to see what the screen looks like. So... Let's uh, lay it back down. Yep. Let the rest of the oil come out. That should be good enough. What I'm going to do... Scoot. Yeah, I guess I can just scoot that back. That's good. So, let's see if I can get... this out of here. There we go. Y'all still looking at what I'm looking at? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do it this way if you are planning on reusing the screen. You might be able to bend it back out. Actually, that, that does not look bad. I thought that would be way more clogged. Huh. Yeah, we got some sludge there. Yeah, I was expecting that to be way worse. Let's see if I can... Nope, let's not do that. The... Corrosion seems okay. There is... Another gasket here, let's get that off. Just wanting to tear. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. I'm making a list of stuff that I want to upgrade just to make the videos better. Um, one of the commenters on the last video suggested a better camera that is for sure on the list the GoPro does decent for um, the wide angles and getting a big viewing area but when it comes to actually being able to see anything up close it's not very good so that is not bad at all. I was thinking it was going to be way worse. A bit of corrosion here, but I think it's all surface. So, yeah, I'm good with that. So I guess next thing to do is, uh, I guess, pop these heads off. I think what I'll do is, uh, it's, uh, let's sit it down one more time. Yep. 
let any other oil come out that wants to come out and then I'll probably shove like a rag in there just so it can absorb instead of drip everywhere I don't really know what to expect from opening these valve covers I know the last engine that I messed with just while it was sitting over there I popped the valve cover off I think I stuck it in the video I can't remember but it was nothing but rust so uh, with this one spinning freely also do not do this when your distributor is not in uh, do not turn the engine when there is no distributor it will jump the gear and then you're having to split the case I'm having to split the case anyway so it's not that big of a deal but yeah so let's get this main pulley off I don't think that it needs to be in any order but then we'll do the heads and see how that goes I wonder how big of a pain that's going to be. Alright, so let's... Shove... A rag in there. Move the oil. all of the incorrect hardware. All right, can you see? Well, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, let's get this uh, rocker assembly off of here. I think this is a 13. Let me grab some rags. Push rods don't look bad. Quite a bit of oil on that one. So I was going to take one of these engines and well I'm still going to take one of these engines and try to get a good running one but the plan for that I was going to take the C 
69, 70, whatever year that was, the bug that I purchased in the lot with the oval, or rather two ovals, and the bus. I was going to play around with that. I had it on Facebook for a while, nobody wanted it. It was pretty trashed. So I said that if today rolled around, Thursday, and nobody had bought it, I was going to cut the back off of it, make it into a bug truck, take one of these engines, get it working, stick it in there, try to make something fun and cheap that I could drive around the property and have some fun with it. Got a message from a guy last night. He came and bought it for 150 bucks. I probably could have made way more from it just by parting it out, but I did not want to go through that hassle. So his wife has a bug. She bought it from a gentleman that was restoring it. He had it completely taken apart and had everything fixed, painted, ready to go. They, I think that's a 15. They uh, started putting it back together and they were missing quite a few pieces, knobs, handles, everything along those lines. So they decided to buy this one to get all of the extra parts that they need. So worked out for them, worked out for me. I basically got the car for free anyway. I wasn't going to buy it, but I had to move it out of the way to get to the others. So I figured if I'm moving it once, I may as well load it up on the trailer and bring it home. So Also, when you are doing this, don't forget the fat washers here. Also, if you have this on an engine stand and you are reassembling it, make sure you do not drop the nuts. When I rebuilt my engine, I had it on an engine stand and it was slightly tilted, so these were pointing up dropped the nut, did not have the push rods in the tubes, and the nut went straight down into the case. I got lucky, I was able to fish it out through the, uh, the bottom, but it was very, uh, very difficult. So just be aware of your parts when you're putting them back on. It's also a lot easier to use a magnet to do this. All right, got those four. We've got four more up top. That is, actually I think all but one is bringing this stud with it. Threads look good though, so that's okay. This one doing it too. Yep, bringing the stud with it. Threads look perfect though. And, yep, one more. Uh, you can. Just stick these back in and it not be a problem. If you brought threads with it, then you may have to put case savers in there. All right, so I am most likely going to need a hammer, so let me grab that. There we go. Look at all the crap in that cylinder. Yep. Whenever you are building an engine, 
not even building it if you're just putting it back together rather. Now we've got a crushed push rod tube. Uh, but whenever you're putting these back together, make sure you put this tin on before you do your push rod tubes. If not, you will be taking them back off. I got all the goodies that came out of there. That's why it's always a good idea to check the engines before you run them if they have been sitting a while. Uh, this one wasn't too bad because it didn't have the top tens, but mice, critters will get in there, pack stuff around the fins, and then they do not do their job cooling. Oh, wow. So I just tilted the head. Look at all the stuff that fell out of the uh, exhaust port. That hole there. The valves have a little bit of carbon on them. What you want to do is clean up your heads. And you want to look I don't think that's a crack, but what you are looking for is any cracks. They like to split from the spark plug over to the valve. They will also split across. So once you clean that up, inspect that really good for cracks. If there is a crack, then I think you're pretty much out of luck on that one. So there's a fin broken off here. If you have any broken fins you don't really want to use it. You can, it's just not going to cool as good as it should. Uh, like this one here, banging on it. Hopefully that light isn't bleaching everything. See how it now touches? So I bent that Hopefully I can bend it back without it snapping off. But there is damage here. It's just uh, broken off altogether. So that I did not do. Looks like it was already there. I don't see any pieces. So this seems like it could be a reusable head. It's not horrible, so. So far, looking pretty good. I did see there's a missing stud which is not that big of an issue but there's also a broken stud. Luckily it is some sticking out so I can possibly weld a nut on there possibly even just stick some vice grips on it and then bring it on out of there. Yeah so look at the Goop. Lots of goop. There we go. Alright. So we've got some staining. I mean, you could use them. But if you can on these, I would replace. But I'm not going to do that. This is just a fun, let's see if we can build a good engine out of all of the engines that I found. Um, this one is not as bad. I don't see any real staining. There's a hair. But this has quite a bit of crosshatch left, at least on the bottom. 
not so much on the top but they are still usable um, this one is number four it's not bad the first one we looked at was number three rings are broken so we'll either have to take pistons from another one or yeah big old chunk missing there so yeah that's got a bad ring so I guess we can take the uh, pistons off here There we go. Alright. One piston head off. That was number four. Do the same on this one. There we go. Not enough. Not enough. Egg on it. Yes. Okay. Number three. All right, time for number one and two. Oh, look. We uh, have an issue. That's not going to do too great. Wonder where that is. Yeah, I'm gonna say hopefully somebody took that off. I don't know. I guess we'll see if it is in the engine when we get to that point. Alright, same deal on this side. Yeah, I mean, these don't look bad. Oh, let's just go ahead and make them look bad. Yeah, I'm going to say that it is probably just missing and not in the case I don't see really any damage to this push rod is that bringing the slide uh, yes and that one Well, that one started bringing it and then it uh, broke free. And no threads came with it, so that's good. Same for this one, so that's fine. We can stick those back on, not a big deal. I've got a bunch of gasket kits that a buddy of mine gave me. I don't know how he ended up with so many. So that's why I'm doing this. As, uh, I've got the parts, so may as well have some fun with it, right? The bug truck would have been a fun project. Yes, I have too many projects now, but that one could have done, that one could have been done basically for free. I've got plenty of Volkswagen parts laying around that I could have used. All right, 
make the jug. Dang, look at this one. Let's get these push rod tubes off of here. Still cannot get this other jug off. There's quite a bit of corrosion down in there. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could work on this on my workbench. Well, let's move that out of the way for the moment. Let's zip this off. I do have a couple extra thermostats laying around, so that's not too big of a deal. This jug. So we've got number two. Let's get these pins out. Or these, uh, yeah, pins, wrist pins. There we go. Let's turn her over. And get this one. Make sure you lose all of your clips. I'm pretty sure I've lost three of them now. Just by sitting them on the floor in front of me. And this one. So we need to get the uh, pressure plate and flywheel off of there. So, make sure you don't lose your wavy washer. Oh, fall. There we go. All right, the rear main seal is out. These are the washers I am talking about. They are very thin. All right, so the pulley is off there. We've got two of these uh, flatheads that aren't going to come off easy. That was a battle. Y'all sit still, why don't you? Alright, that's off. So I guess what we will do now is take the oil pump cover off. Yeah, back up just a hair.
There are washers uh, on there. There goes one. Just make sure you don't lose them. And there's our oil pump. Make sure before you go pulling on this to try to get it out that you loosen the case nuts. And there we go. All right, that is off. I guess uh, case bolts. Got one there, 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 and there. Those are all smaller than the other ones. Are you keeping track of where everything goes? I am not. Most likely anything that you take off is going to have a washer with it. Hey, your battery is almost dead. What the world? So, I got those off. What I'm going to do now is roll this out of the way, put you on charge, clean up my mess, especially the dirt and junk all over the floor, put away some tools that I won't need, and then, um, and then I'll bring you back once your battery has recharged. Let's zip these off so we can open this case up. Seems like this was the better out of all of the engines. Hey, right, don't forget the two on this side, one here, one down there. Also, all the ones along the bottom. Oh, hey, that stud came out. All right, I believe that is everything on this side. So. Let's see. All right. There we go. So that came out pretty, pretty good. Add your gasket. What was that? Where'd it go? Did I drop it? I don't know what that was. All right, now. We can use this tool. You thought I was going to go up and down, didn't you? I uh, hear poppage. 
See how long that gasket makes it. Um, let's put this down. Let's uh, set this over here. And there we go. So she is apart. The gear is messed up, like I figured. Probably should have taken off the, uh, the studs, but all right, let's check. We've got spiderage, but we got some sludge and nastiness. It's not horrible. Um, doesn't look like any water got in because there's no corrosion on the bottom of the case. So as long as the bearings feel good, then this is definitely a uh, rebuildable case. Pop the old crank out. Yeah, we got some cruddage and even on this case there's very little or yeah this side of the case rather very little corrosion so that's a good sign there's no broken studs no missing studs slight corrosion in this which hey, yeah there's even some over here too that just looks like animal crap though. Not crap, but stuff from bugs getting down in it. We've got some sludge here. All right, so we're in a better spot now. And I have double nutted these to take the studs off. don't have to, I want to just to clean them up better. Alright, so all of those are done. Uh, main reason I wanted to take them off so I could do this. This was like a quick two seconds on the wire wheel. I'll still clean them up better, but main reason I wanted to do that. So, that is off of there. Get those out of the way. We are low on camera space. We've got like 25 minutes left. So, the fine folks over at Super Clean uh, sent me some of their products to test out. So I figured what better way to test it than on a greasy Volkswagen engine. So uh, thanks to everybody over at Super Clean for sending me that. Um, let's see how it does. like to power wash this
first I'd like to get all the majority of the gunk off. That way I'm not putting that much oil and stuff in my driveway. Yeah, it's definitely working quick. Yeah, they had actually sent this to me a while ago, but I didn't really have anything to use it on. I didn't have any greasy parts or anything to clean up until I got the most recent horde of vehicles. And got lucky enough to get all of these engines. The bug, I can't remember if I told you or not, it has, or rather the blue uh, 6970 bug, whatever that is, uh, was sold. The semi-4 oval was sold. The bus is still in the driveway, still holding out hope that the guy will find the title. If he doesn't get back to me within the next week or so, I'm just going to stick it on Marketplace. Um, I'd love to keep it. It's a very solid project, very solid bus. A few um, few rust spots. Most of the typical spots are okay. The front floor. Um, dog legs are shot, of course, they always are. Um, cargo floor, from what I could see, had maybe one hole in it, and then the, the one hole at the uh, bulge panel on the passenger side. Yeah, it's making quick work. Right down in here. A lot of crud, as well as the distributor gear. Does that come out? It does. There we go. Yeah, look at all the crud in there. Just from sitting open, the spring barely wanted to move, so... I'm glad that was able to come out. I'll clean that up. Stick that back in there so I don't lose it for the moment. Also on the uh, 69-70 bug, whatever that was, um, I made a video on it. I lost the last half of that video. So I'll put up in this video uh, the part of that one that I still have. I don't know what happened. Um, I had the whole thing edited and I guess the last half of it corrupted. I don't know, but I will put that up in this video. Since that car is no longer here, I can't recreate the ending. So, uh, so yeah, I'll throw that up here and let y'all see that while I'm still working on this. Hey guys, today we're going to go over this uh, bug. Finally got it home. Um, it's not worth really much of anything. Uh, I'm sure there's a few odds and ends on it that could be used, but for the most part, unless somebody wants a chassis, it's not not worth the time and effort of uh, fixing this one up. It's a 68, 69, somewhere around in there. Um, she's bad, so here she is, really rough. Uh, it does have good pop outs. That's always a plus. Uh, surprisingly, the uh, the back wheels turned. Um, every vehicle that I pulled out of those woods, uh, none of the drums were locked up. I don't know how, but uh, yeah, I'll take it. It makes life a whole lot easier. I did see this. Lawhorn used foreign parts specialist. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing they got a uh, rebuilt transmission in this. I'm not sure if it's anything special, but 
uh, that's pretty cool, or transaxle, if you want to call it that. Um, but yeah, she's rusty, crusty, falling apart. Um, unless somebody wants to buy it as it is, it'll probably be chopped up. I'll cut the uh, rear quarters off here, take the uh, pop-outs off. It's got a bunch. Watch this. It's a whole lot of flex in there. It is not great. A um, bunch of random parts in it. Bunch of random parts fell out of it. So, uh, yeah, I guess let's uh, look and see what we have here. There's uh, the original floor. That makes the value go up a little bit, right? <clears throat> a piece of wide trim. Looks really big to be on a bug. Also got hood dents, or uh, roof dents rather. Tarboard. Some disgusting old carpet. I think this is the one of the original tools, possibly. Got a drive shaft to something. A fan shroud to something. Rather big fan shroud. I'm gonna assume American car. I think there's a Pontiac horn over there. So I'm gonna assume that these parts are from that. I'm guessing probably not this. This looks like a, uh, a hydraulic arm for a piece of equipment, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. Uh, let's go seatbelt cover. Yeah, let's go over to the other side. I see a starter. Is that possibly a uh, Volkswagen? I see an old oil bath, too. And it's small, so that might be, uh, <clears throat> oh gosh. Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and crank on it because, I mean, it's not worth trying to save that. Let's see. Is that, that might not even be, D is that VW? Let's see, any markings? see something looks like numbers it's got to be something on it somewhere I don't know I'll clean that up and look at it it may I don't know it kind of looks VW but I don't know possibly huh. probably should have brought a bucket up here just to throw the trash in Bunch of wiring loom and spark plug leads. Is this the uh, V8 air breather for the optional uh, V8 bug? No, I think this goes to, there was a Pontiac that was near it. So I think, um, I think there's a key and another key, both GM. Stop moving. Yep, both GM keys. It's rusty. It's a big distributor cap. And the button. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that this is the uh, Pontiac that was near it. Uh, what is that? Cadillac? Or is that Pontiac? I'm not sure. Let me get to the 
this toolbox and see what that is. We've got a throw out bearing. There's another key. Derby's Motel, Ruther Glen, Virginia. Huh, that's pretty cool. Dropping any mailbox, we guarantee postage. Let's go over to the hood. Or the trunk, whichever. Bunch of randomness. Thought that was a socket at first, but I don't know. That looks like tip to a welder, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh oh, we got a wedding ring. Nope. Keys. That's cool, though. What do we got here? GM. I'm thinking it's probably a different GM, not General Motors. Man, who is texting me? Cole National. Briggs and Stratton. Really old Pepsi cap. <laughs> hey, look at that. Matching money game. Left half of 100. Match with right half, win $100. Wonder if somebody turned both halves in now, if they would honor that. I mean, feel like you'd have to after that amount of time if somebody still had them. Uh, McDonald's play Atari Centipede Section 1. That's kind of cool. Bunch of old randomness. Coal National, another one of those keys. Yeah, just a bunch of random junk. Looks like a, uh, is that a Bosch? Nope. Condenser. nuts yeah nothing nothing great see an exhaust pipe and a distributor rather big distributor with a coil connected to it I'm going to say American something or another. It's a really curved up exhaust pipe. This, oh, it looks like an AC compressor. That is heavy. Yep, oh, AC. Let's see. Frigid air. For a Skylark, a Centurion LeSabre, and an Electra Riviera from GM. Huh. It's worth a million dollars. Let's see. There we go, Pontiac. Or is that, no, that's Buick. Okay, so this must be Buick parts. That's no good. Some kind of signal. Got a uh, closed beam headlight. Broken tab. Got some bug, turn signals. Oop. The older style, or not the older style, older style, but the newer style. For the uh, 70s vehicles. The 68 and 9, I think, have the smaller turn signals like that. Yeah, a bunch of random 
junk. Horn. Got some smaller sealed headlights. Funky carpet. Well, that is going to be all for today. I am not a engine master by any means. I know some things, but uh, from what I can see, I believe this is a good case. So it will be rebuilt. Uh, I've got some degreaser sprayed on it now. Uh, hopefully. You enjoy what video of the 69 that I have. It is going to be quite a long video, but uh, I didn't want to cut this into two different videos. So, uh, with that, thanks for hanging out. Hopefully, uh, you learned a little bit from this, uh, even if it is just how to tear it apart. But uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one.